are back with another Four Mortal Sisters cast. This is Emerald Salvatore. I know the last three days it's been a whole bunch of casts. I, um, well, I just had these. Well, I went ahead and did these. I was going to do Legacy, but like I just didn't want pre recording. And I was pre recording because I was going on just a little day thing. So I'll be away. But Legacy will come back on, um, Saturday, so I was like, I figured y'all uh, a lot more like the four Mortal Sisters and seeing behind the scenes, so yeah. And I already had those ready, so it was a little bit easier to just do these voiceover. So there'll be, since it's usually in Let's Play part, um, there'll be, um, Emerald, you know, well, right now, obviously, watching that, duh, and then Diamonds will be at six. So, yeah, Diamond's the last one, well, last of the four girls, then we still have all the other people, so, we'll be seeing those, you know, probably with it all during this month, I'll have those are the characters, and, you know, maybe sets, and getting ready, so, because I am pumped, and I just, I like I said, I cannot get enough of this series, I can't stop thinking about it, like, especially now, oh, speaking of which, I'm gonna have... There should be a poll on Aqua's um, video. I'll probably still put one. But if you want to be a part, you can vote um, for the name of the magical world. Because I had stuff like Sixum and uh, Forgotten Hollow that's from Sims. But I really wanted to have something that was very close to, you know, the, um, to my story, you know, and not just something Sims. So, like, just something, like, I didn't want to copy anything from a world, you know, from, or, you know, something from another series or movie or something. Like, I wanted it to be meaningful to the story. And some of you have already helped me. Um, you can also, um, follow, there's a, uh, Twitter. It's the number four immortal, uh, sisters, um, on Twitter. And that's where some of the polls are, too. But there should be, like, a little eye, and I'll have a poll here, too. Um, but yeah, um, so this is Emerald, and so see, like, she won't have this outfit, I won't have this, like, every day, you know, like, one of her outfits in the series, but this is just for pictures, because Emer uh, Emerald is the, like, Earth sister, she's like, you know, like, the element, uh, not element, they all have elements, you know, the Earth, you know, like, plants and animals and all that stuff, so she, in, you know, her, the, her element, they're usually like fairies and stuff like that. So, I put the costume from here and there's that. And so, her makeup's a little bit more extreme for this outfit. Um, she's a lot more laid back. Um, that's why I'm also, she's the one I'm like waiting for with cats and dogs. And it really pushed me to even want to do, because I was going to do something else for her, um, like where she's working. But, because of that, I was like, oh, this is perfect, because this is way more up her alley. And even when I started thinking about it, I was like, oh, this makes sense, because it could be like, she's working at this veterinary clinic, because she, and like, you know, she has it all set that, you know, after college and stuff, she could be a vet there, you know, and all this stuff after she gets her um, degree and all that stuff. You know, she's very close to the vet there, the owner that works there. So, that's it. She's working at a vet clinic. And I kind of, and I already got ideas there. I had the girls meet. But, Emerald here, you know, she loves the outdoors. And she's just all about nature. But, I really, you know, her human side, you know, her being on human heart. She loves animals. She has, like, an eye. She just knows, you know, how they're feeling. She just, she relates to them. It's almost like she can kind of talk to them. Because her world she could she can because you know she's a fairy and stuff like that but you know she just she has this I guess you could say almost like a Dr. Doolittle um kind of aspect to it but you know yes and no kind of thing um so it's kind of like that um but um she just she's very close to you know she she's not a cat or a dog person she's both she's loves all animals of all kind little big whatever you know she just loves animals and she just finds this attachment to them that she's kind of got a distance from people so and she was adopted by a single woman she was actually a college student she was on her way home and there was this little baby emerald on her doorstep and 
she didn't know she just felt like it was like her car she felt like she had this you know she was taking her to hospital make sure everything's okay or you know trying to look up and she just felt this you know attachment so yeah she's probably, she's the youngest and um so but yeah she also is a little jealous and well it is she just has that you know green envy just I guess you know maybe because her she's not the best you know with talking to people you know because she's better at talking to animals so you know that natural like she's good at like she has friends like I'm not trying to say, but like you know that natural ability you know I guess you could say almost like an introvertness but that's a little bit more diamond but like so it doesn't come I guess as easy you know but she's very smart and other things come very easy to her and I guess she that's why she can get like she's like a workaholic she's very like workaholic she's very you know so like she's just her she's very driven in what she does like she knows what she wants in life and um so I guess that's just very true she just she knows what she wants in life and um she she just you know she has this pull to what she wants and she's gonna get there she's gonna you know no matter how hard she has to work she's gonna do it and so and this is why I wanted this dress I know it's like Cinderella's dress but it just made sense you know with all the butterflies and stuff like that so and we'll get to the end I had to have that for her party where it just fit you know it's all this floor and stuff so she's very casual she doesn't wear that much makeup she's very casual likes floral prints and just you know easy go dress you know put on and all that stuff and so that's Emerald for ya and uh I don't know she just she's an interesting character she like i'm not I, I don't know she's kind of one of my favorites but we're at the screenshots so if you like this video please give it a big fat thumbs up comment comment down below what you'd like to see next who is your favorite so far and yeah um if you haven't yet please subscribe make my heart so much bigger and until next time